James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to explain to you what JPL, NASA, and NOAA don't want y'all to understand about Comet 3i Atlas or C2025N1. The comet is said to be over 12 miles in diameter. Well, that's going to cause a huge problem, and I believe is already causing a huge problem as it moves through our main asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is located between Jupiter and Mars. And we're going to first take a look at its track. As you can see, and we're going to zoom in as it goes to Jupiter and then comes very close to Mars there. The main asteroid belt in our solar system is a band of rocky bodies orbiting the sun in the region of our solar system between the orbits of Jupiter and Mars. It's a vast area containing millions of rocky bodies ranging from small pebbles to dwarf planets and they all orbit the sun as remnants from the solar system's early formation. You can see that better here. Now to make it through this area and be 12 miles in diameter and not play bumper pool would be impossible. Am I right? Well that's where it is currently and what do we keep having? We keep having very close approaches of very large rocks to Earth. And obviously, anyone could sum this up. 12 miles in diameter, plain bumper pool with this asteroid belt as seen here. This is a pretty good visualization, but I'll show you another one. And it's right in this area currently. We'll see where it is. And... We'll see the fact that it's working its way through this. As it does, it pushes the rocks, well, towards the center of the solar system because that's where it's headed, right? Let's take a look at another diagram of our actual main asteroid belt. Now you can see the rocks are much closer to Mars in both diagrams than they are Jupiter. I believe that Comet 3i Atlas has just started to enter this very thick belt of rocks and it is currently playing bumper pool and rocks are flying in all directions, many of them coming towards the inner solar system, i.e. towards Earth. Now this is where Comet Atlas is currently today, September 6, 2025. You can see it's definitely inside where we think the asteroid belt would be in this area here. And it's going to be impossible to convince me that it's not playing bumper pool. There's no way through except for it to play bumper pool. And because of its size, I guesstimated at 12 miles in diameter. Well, there's a very good chance that many of the rocks it comes into contact with will be trajected in all different directions, including Earth's direction. So it looks like we've already entered the asteroid belt area, and we have had a couple of close flybys, as y'all know. And this is all going to be asteroid belt through all this area here, all the way up until the Mars orbit, as y'all saw in the diagrams. And I believe that JPL, NASA, and NOAA understand this, and their fingers are crossed. Probably why we didn't hear about the, well, 430 foot diameter uh, near Earth object or meteor that just missed Earth three days ago. So, this is, I believe, what is going on. And really, there's no other explanation than this. These are facts here. That's going to make a very close approach to Mars. And it's going to have to go right back through this asteroid belt. But I don't think its momentum will be pushing rocks towards the inner solar system as it is now. 
uh, this date here is the 20th. So even if something got pushed two weeks ago, four weeks ago, five, six weeks ago, it is still or could still be inbound towards the inner solar system, that being Mars, Earth, Venus, and Mercury. And I'm pretty positive that's exactly what we're seeing here. Even if it came into contact way out here into that asteroid belt, main asteroid belt, it's going to take some time for these rocks, which I think that we've just started to see, to make it towards or as far as Earth and into the inner solar system. Again, this is Comet 3i Atlas's location today, also known as C2025N1. And it's well in the middle of the asteroid belt currently. My guess is, since there's millions of rocks in this asteroid belt, from the size of pebbles all the way to dwarf planets, that a lot of rocks have been displaced by this very large item that's inbound. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. But I think that we've already seen a big uptick in close calls here on Earth. And those are some very large rocks to just appear out of nowhere. Let's just say uh, this has just started based on its position. And we could continue to have rocks head towards Earth for the next several months. With that said, God bless each and every one of you guys. Please share our video and remember the chances of it getting through the asteroid belt without pushing rocks towards the inner solar system are close to zero. Now, luckily, Earth is moving towards the other side of the solar system. That's a huge plus. But obviously, these rocks are going to continue in the direction that they're, well, pushed into and we're going to have a lot of them that orbit the sun a lot of new rocks in play etc over the next year or more god bless please share and subscribe and please always remember that anything is possible in bizarro world god bless